Lawam, the Sahara Wam by Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. Wanna say Kal Halayum, La Yahawa, by Hashim Yahushai, by Hashim Harakakwadash, Mahamah, double line to the elder apostles of GMS that taught me this truth and their elders, and Shalom to you Akim, and Nagwati my children that believe in sincerity and truth <clears throat> around the four corners of the earth. Uh, I'm gonna start off with Psalms 18 and 1. Um, to the chief musician, a psalm of David. All right, so psalm, basically meaning King David wrote this, and he'll give it to the chief musician to put it into a score or to melody. Melody. All right, the servant of Yahweh, who spake unto Yahweh the words of this psalm. In the day that Yahweh delivered him from the hand of his enemies and from the hand of Saul, and he said, I will love thee, O my strength. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so the Lord is able to, this is another story of how the Lord is able to deliver, deliver his servants. Just like the Lord delivered King David from the hands of Saul, and actually raised King David up. All right, Yahweh is my rock. Okay, now we read in the New Testament, it's talking about Peter, of whom the Lord built the church upon, the foundation, the rock, right? But this right here is talking about something else. But the Lord is our protection. And my fortress, all right? So the Lord's name is a strong tower. The righteous run up into it and are safe. And also the scriptures say the Lord did not give us the spirit of fear. So in these times, we're supposed to trust Yahweh by Hashem Shai and not go down to Egypt for help. All right, and I stand firmly on that. Um, and my deliverer, so the Lord is able to deliver us from anything, even sickness. My God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. All right, so he's our high tower, man. Okay, but uh, the wicked, the rich man's wealth, and their strength is in their strong city that they built. You know, and their hospitals, their government, their banks. It says what? But I will call upon Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The sorrows of death. Compass me. We see all the sorrows of death around us. Right? But what did the Lord say in Psalm 91? Uh, um, Only with thy eyes shall you see the destruction of the wicked. Now we entered into this hour of temptation. Yeah, ultimately, it's going to, um, the climax of it is going to be the MOTB. But we are being tempted right now and tested, tried. You got Esau using their harp and bringing all kind of um, plagues upon the earth. But then the Lord is going to allow, release his plagues as well. Okay. But during these times, the Lord said we're going to be tested. And at some point, the Lord said no plague shall come nigh thy dwelling. And, and uh, any weapon formed against thee shall not prosper. So they are going to be formed against us. But they're not going to prosper. In his, in his agenda to destroy you. All right. It says, What? The sorrows of death compassed me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. See that? They built, stirred that fear inside you. Of ungodly men. The sorrows of hell compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me. But check this out. And they, these are the sorrows of hell right here on this earth. In my distress, I called upon your house. See, so you got called upon the Lord. And cried unto my power. He heard my voice out of his temple. And my cry came before him, even to his ears. Okay, so the Lord delivered David. You can continue reading that. You know. And see how the Lord uh, reacts in the heavens. He show up upon the firmament, send his angels, and storms, all kind of stuff, man. Like he did for King David. All right. 
just like he did during Sodom and Gomorrah, just like he did during the times of Egypt. He protected Moses and the children of Israel from the plagues of Egypt. All right? So, right, it speaks, I'm not going to read all of this, but it says he rode upon a cherub and did fly. Yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. All right? He bowed the heavens also and came down in darkness with his feet. So that's how he deals with us. He didn't even come down here to deliver us, literally, as he's going to do. The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. These are things we have to understand. Exodus 14 and 14. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace, man. All right, so the Lord is going to fight for us. Just like he did in the times of Egypt. Deuteronomy 1 and 30. Yahweh, your power, which go up before you, right? He sends he send Yahweh Shai before us. So the Lord already, already went before us in this place as well. He had everything mapped out. He is the I and the Thai. The beginning and the end. The one who was and is and is to come. All right? He's the past, the present, on the right hand of the Father. In the past, he delivered us and created all things. And in the future, he already mapped everything out. And he's going to appear to the world in the, in the future, real near future. He shall fight for you. What? Right? He shall fight for you according to all that he did for you in Egypt before your eyes. And now we lose faith. When the Lord already proven that he, he can deliver us from this right here. All right, this is 2 Ezra 15 and 10. It says, um, that's right. I'm going to start from the point. It says, verse 10, it says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. See, people that go down to Egypt for help and they're being, and being deceived. All right, and moving in haste out of fear. It says, what? Uh... Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter, and I will I will not suffer them to now dwell in the land of Egypt. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stressed out arm. And so the Lord is reaching and, and going to deliver us with spiritual powers. And smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn. And the foundations of it shall be smitten with the plague and the punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. And that's what we're seeing today. We're seeing the, the plagues and the punishments. All right. But the Lord said what? Um, uh, uh, He's going to deliver Israel as he protected us in Israel, Egypt before. All right. So now the Lord gave us what? He gave us wisdom. He gave us understanding. Gave us the scriptures so we could read about people like Daniel, how they ate the herbs and they ate the pulse, I mean, the seeds, and they were healthy. You know, how the Lord, how the scriptures say you use a physician. Let me get that, man. All right, to use herbs to heal you. Stuff, you know, oil of oregano, garlic, steam, you know, different um, things to help open up your sinuses and lungs, touch, trigger point. Uh, pressure releases, you know, for the sinuses and breathing techniques. All right. But uh, this is Isaiah 33 and 5. Yahweh is exalted, for he dwelleth on high. He hath filled Zion with judgment and righteousness and wisdom and knowledge. See that? Wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of that time. So that's what's going to keep you stable and mentally stable and studying and staying educated on what they're talking about out here in the world. That's what the Lord told us to watch and use all our resources. You know, the head can't say to the foot that I have no need of thee. All right. And vice versa. See, we all need each other as a body. And from our watch, what do you see over there on your watch? Well, this is what I see. Wow, you know, that's deep, you know, and that'll help you uh, prepare for the, the enemy and give out the proper vibration and sound 
in the trumpet to warn the people. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that times. What time? The time of Jacob's trouble. The hour of temptation. All right, where the word temptation means trial. I mean, we're being tried, man, and tested for what's really to come. And strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right, a lot of people say it's not the hour of temptation, but it is. We have entered into it, man. Everything has a beginning and an end. Now, the beginning of it is what we're seeing right now, the agenda going around the whole world. And the end process, the end, the end all be all is going to be the MOTB. This is um, Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. How are you going to keep you? He's going to watch over you and guard you. All right. From the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. See, we're being tried right now on all the world. But someday the Lord said, no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. It's not going to, their agenda is not going to um, destroy you, ultimately. Okay, you yeah, got to have faith in. And don't be spooked on any level. Their whole job is to get us to move in haste. That's what the wolf does to the sheep, try to get you to run right into a trap. Any form of it. You know? Right, man, because the Lord did not give us the spirit of fear. But what he said, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. That's what's going to keep us stable through these trying times right now where we're being tried. All right. And lean not upon our own understanding. Second Timothy 1 and 7. For Yahweh have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. All right. Knowledgeable. Okay, so we, we're supposed to search these things out. Okay, so but there's a scripture that says um, even the herbs without prayer basically won't heal you, you know, without the Spirit of the Lord dealing with you. Um, but the, the herbs actually make you whole. All right, and fasting. If you got any issues with your lungs, use some steam. Drink a lot of water. All right. He even got this corona mass ejection I was talking about going on to where um, people with allergies are acting up. So I'm just throwing some pointers out there. All right. What garlic will usually work for, now you need like steam. Now you need um, hydration. All right. And a lot of um, boosting your immune system. The, uh, uh, um, what you call it um, chlorophyll alright chlorophyll is what makes the plants green so you can eat a lot of green vegetables or get some drinks with pure green herbs in it like lemongrass and stuff like that or chlorophyll if it has uh, you gotta be careful with some of them herbal drinks there'd be it'd be nothing but apples in there but they say it has a certain they say it has a, um, other herbs in it, but it's really like a dot. It's a measurement like a dot. All, all they got to do is have like a tiny dot of spinach in it, and they can say it's in there. So you got to be careful with those. So make sure you get some pretty good ones. Uh, but there's nothing to fear. Ecclesiasticus 38 and 1. Honor a physician with the honor due unto him. For the uses which he may have of him, ye may have of him. For the Lord have created him. So the Lord created physicians out here that you can go to and talk to and ask questions. Before you make certain moves or move in haste or fear. Alright, so the Lord already got everything set up, man. You see that? So soon the Lord's going to intervene through spiritual power. And he's able to heal us from the heavens. Just like he healed the, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to get that real quick. All right. There's a beautiful story. Check this out. Matthew 8 and 5. And, and when Yahweh was entered into Capernaum, all right, 
Uh, there was a lot of jakes out there. And the Lord actually brought caping them down to hell later on in the scriptures. Hell means it's like brought down to the ground, all right, destroyed. It says, there came unto him a centurion. He was like a, a guard, all right, um, just like Cornelius, a police officer today. A centurion beseeching him and saying, Lord, my servant, live home sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. So he was being grievously tormented um, at home and was sick. Just like the crippled man that was born crippled during the time of Peter from, he was almost uh, 40 years old. He was crippled from birth. Why? Just so he can be an example. The Lord told us to go out and heal the sick, cleanse the lepers. And this is all spiritual, but it's also physical as much as possible today, right? Because you got spiritual lepers. King, D King James said it in his book to his son. He said, be not a spiritual leper, meaning they're just completely wicked on the inside. But, um, right, so now it says, beseeching him and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy grievously tormented and yet how shall I say if unto him I will come and heal him alright because that's what a lot of people want they want the Lord to literally show up to heal him but he don't have to he has power to um, to heal us being on the right hand of the father alright it says um, and yet how shall I say if unto him I will come and heal him the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. But speak, just speak the word only. That's what we need the Lord to do. Speak the word and we'll be healed. Teach us how to heal ourselves. Send a brother that can heal. You know, send the angels to heal. Like, uh, it would ask, uh, even the angel told, uh, Raphael, the healer. Actually, how about Shem Shai to send the healers in any form or fashion to heal? All right, spiritually and physically. If you don't believe in it, then you don't, then you lack faith. The centurion answered and said, "Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but just speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed." Mm mm mm. -mm. All you got to do is speak the word and we'll be healed. All right. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, go, and he goeth. And to another, come, and he cometh. And to my servant, do this, or and he doeth that. Right? You got a lot of people in authority that have to have this type of faith. When Yahweh heard it, he marveled and said to them that followed, Verily I, verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, not so in Israel. Man. And I say unto you that many shall come from the east and the west and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. This is about to happen. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Talking about the two thirds. All right. And Yahweh said unto the church centurion, Go thy way, and as thou hast believed. You got to believe it, man. You know, when you're dealing with the urge, or you seek a physician, however you look at it, you got to believe that the Lord can heal you. Or just remove it from you. You never know. Go thy way, and as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And his servant was healed in the self same hour. All right. And when Yahweh was coming to Peter's house, he saw his wife, mother, laid and sick of a fever. So the Lord don't even have to be here to do it. That's my point. All right. And even right here, the Lord, um, cause that was, a lot of times when you got a sickness, <laughs> you know, it's like, um, being possessed almost, man. Like something took over your damn body. All right. But the Lord can heal you from it, man. You got to have faith. All right. 
So I'm, I'm not going to read the next story, but you should. That's, a, that's an important one to read. Uh, Matthew 8 and 14 over down. Okay. Um, there you go. It says, Sirach 38 and 3, The skill of the physician shall lift up his head, and in the sight of great men he shall be in admiration. All right, so we're not supposed to disregard our physicians that are in this truth. The Lord have created medicines out of the earth. What? The Lord have created medicines out of the earth. The same ones that Esau is exploiting and calling illegal. And he that is wise will not abhor them. So if you're wise, you won't abhor what the Lord made out of the earth. If you get my point. All right. Was not the water made sweet with wood? The virtue thereof might be known. And he have given men skill that he might be honored in his marvelous works. Which with such do if he heal men and take away their pains, man. All right, so you got that's what you got to seek. And, and, and you got the internet now. You can just study everything and, and look up things to. To, to deal and heal with you, heal yourself in the spirit. Ask the Lord to guide you. But someday you got to have faith that the Lord is going to start removing stuff from his men. All right? Removing sicknesses, removing danger. All right? But um, it says, My son, in thy sickness be not negligent, but pray unto the Lord, and he will make thee whole. So don't neglect. Everything the Lord said, the medicines from the earth, the herbs, seek a physician. They're going to tell you different than what you're hearing on the media. Uh, you know, doctors doctor things up. Phys physicians deal with herbs. All right, holistic treatments to make you whole. Okay, so, but within that, you have to do what? My son, if thy sickness be not... In thy sickness, be not negligent. Just like Job, Job kept praying to the Lord. But pray unto the Lord, and he will make thee whole. You can get a lot of wisdom from being sick, man. Because you're, you're praying to the Lord. It's like a lot of pressure bust pipes, and a lot of pressure can also make a diamond, or it can, or it can crush this uh, clay. So what you, you had to be a diamond. Out of this should come a diamond, shining more into prayer, also, um, understanding and knowledge with herbs and how to heal yourself. So you can heal yourself, you're able to heal others. Think about that. So, you know, that's what, that's what we got to get busy doing. And, um, you got any cobwebs in the throat, get your ass up and run. Run in place. That'll make that, you know, I'm, I'm speaking in a certain way on purpose, but That'll make that shoot up so you can actually spit it out. You get what I mean? Uh, steam. You got to get tricky with it. You got children. Put them, cut that steam on. Not just a steamer, but a shower. You know, like a steam room. These things break it up and loosen it up, if you know what I'm talking about. All right? Garlic for bacterias. But that's not it. You got you, you got cinnamon that deals with the uh, the cobwebs. All right, you got um, you know, yeah, lemongrass, sea moss, and all that. But that's to boost your immune system. All right, there's other things too. So I'm not gonna get too much into it. And uh, yeah, man, just stay focused out there, and uh, just want people that listen to this channel, the lions, then to stay in the faith. And don't go down to Egypt for help. And trust in Yahweh by Shimei Shai and continue to do the same, man. Hey, and that's just it. Shalom.